So today, we're going to be playing in the Wraith Draft Challenge just to get a bunch of Wraiths in my baby account. Let's see how many of them can we get. My name is Tum Mike, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Alrighty, hopefully we can get a whole bunch of Wraiths here. Let's get the Enchantress for sure to buff up all of my heroes right here. Taking the Orc because we have nothing to heal up the Kong, and we'll take... Ooh. Well, actually take the, the Cannon Master. The Druid is just very weak right now. One of the weakest epic heroes. So that's why I took him. Even though we cannot buff up the... We could buff up the Cannon Master and push her around. It's just best to actually... Um, it's just uh, best to actually just pick the Cannon Master here. We'll enchant the Orc and the Wraith right there. Actually hitting the Sentinel. Not bad. Alright, Sentinel does go next. He will be hitting both... Both the Enchantress and the Orc? Or just the Cannon Master and the Wraith? Cannon Master and the Wraith? Ooh, Cannon Master actually gets hit four times. Well played. Very well played. Uh, we'll do this. I think we can actually hit the Sentinel twice. That's what I'm hoping for. No, we don't hit the Sentinel twice. We actually do hit the, the uh, Werewolf by mistake. I did not want to do that. It's all good, though. At this point, I think it's best to focus on the Werewolf now since the Werewolf is... Very, very, very strong. Maybe. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. I guess we'll try to go for the double hit here. Is that going to be a double hit? Yes, it will be a double hit for 220 damage. That is clutch for the Werewolf right there. He might actually take out the Enchantress right here and now. Uh, the, en the Enchantress is actually still alive. Okay. Let's do... I guess we'll try to double... Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to double hit the... We'll hit the Wraith here. And then hopefully we can also hit the Sentinel and maybe even the Cannon Master with the Splash. We do hit uh, the Cannon Master with the Splash with a nice little double hit right there towards the Sentinel. That was pretty good. The Orc seems like he is going to die. No, he's going for the Wraith. Alright, so he's going for the double hit on the Wraith here. Nope, uh, okay, he's going for this, uh, the Orc now, okay. Orc is dead. I think the Enchantress just died right there. Well played. Oh, well, he got a triple kill because of the cats, alright. Let's do... We'll do this. This should multi-hit the Werewolf and hopefully the Sentinel as well. So let's do this right here. There we go. Bada bing. And... That does not hit the Sentinel. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me well that's not good he's going to multi-hit the the wraith now i needed just one more hit of course that happens this actually might be f that's a lot of damage uh wraith does go next i guess we'll try to double hit the wraith here i guess that is the best play here that we can do i, I don't know what else to do here my saving grace is that my cannon master is hugging the wall. That is my saving grace. Because we'll probably will we probably will lose the Wraith right here and now. As long as he doesn't hit the Sentinel. Never mind, he hits the Sentinel. Alright. So not not good. Obviously not good. Uh we'll take out his Wraith, or sorry, his Sentinel, so he stops using it. Hopefully we can double hit the cannon master here. I don't know if this is going to be a double hit. All I can do is hope for the double hit. Why am I shaking? I do apologize. I'm shaking too a lot, too much. We failed to actually hit the Cannon Master. All right, that was a bad, bad play. Very bad play. We're going to lose since the Cannon Master is not um is hugging the wall, so we're not going to be able to double hit. He can actually double hit me since I have a a little bit of space open right there. So we are going to lose this one. Cannon Master has 68 health. The Wraith has 69. So even if we keep the Wraith alive, we're not going to take him out. Or we're not going to survive the attack. So, sadly, we are going to lose this one. I honestly thought we had we had a good chance of winning there. He just did. He just played very well. Of course, I made a couple of mistakes. Of course, I always make mistakes. What can you do, right? Sadly, that is going to be our first loss. Just trying to get you know as many raves as as I possibly can for my baby account. Still hoping to get a couple of them. Fingers crossed that we can. Let's continue on. Alrighty, second match here. Let's see if we can do better this time around. We're going to take the Thunderpaws. Uh, hopefully that is the right play. We'll take the Scarecrow. 
And we'll take the Puppet Master because we got nothing to enchant my Seder. Unless he has something to enchant me, but it's already too late. Okay, no. Alright, let's see what he uh, will do here. He starts off with a Trant, trying to hit the Goblin. Thankfully, the Goblin doesn't do anything at all. Super happy about that. I guess we'll try to hit his Goblin and then the Trant towards my Thunder Paws. Yeah, kind of, yeah. This Goblin took a lot of damage, that's good. He's going for the Goblin, of course, of course. And at this point, I guess we will... I think we should just focus on his Goblin, honestly. So we'll hit the Giant here, then we'll hit his Goblin. There we go, his Goblin is dead. Almost uh, place an Orb on the, you know, in the arena. Using the Thunder Pulses ability. He, has, he does have the Tree and Wraith combo, which I'm not a fan of. At this point, we will... I guess we'll try to push the Trina towards the Scarecrow. Should we just double hit the Scarecrow? We could double hit the Scarecrow here. And then hopefully we'll hit his Giant. We do, in fact, double hit the Scarecrow. That's good. We don't we don't hit the Giant. But that's still okay. Oh, look at this, though. We can actually, you know, place Orbs. Plus, you know, use Scarecrow's ability, I mean. Uh, I just need to touch the Thunder Paws slightly. I think that'll do it. There you go. So we did we did damage to the Wraith, Giant, and of course the Trian using the Orbs. That was a pretty good play. Uh, pretty good play on his behalf too. That was a very well play right there. Let's do... We'll hit the Giant, then we'll push the Puppet Master towards the Wraith. Got a little bit of damage using the Orb right there. He might actually take out the Scarecrow and the Puppet Master here. So definitely not good for us. Even the Thunder Paws. The Thunder Paws is going to die. Well played. Very well played. There will be a Puppet on the board, which is good. Um, This is a little bit dangerous. Not going to lie, ladies and gentlemen. Can we push the Scarecrow towards the Wraith and then we'll hit his Wraith? That is my saving grace right now. Oh, actually, pretty good play right there. That was a pretty good play. We took out the the Wraith. We did a little bit of damage to the, to the Giant. And, of course, we did damage to his Wraith. That was a pretty good play, honestly. And now we should be able to win here by double-hitting the Treant. And then hitting the Giant right there. All right. We, it, was a, it was very close, not going to lie. It was very close, but we managed to pull off a crazy win right there. So we got one win, one loss. One more win, we're going to get uh, some Wraiths. Hoping that we can get a whole bunch of rapes in this account uh, today. But we'll see if we can actually do so. Let's continue. Alrighty, let's see. I mean, if you don't take the cleric. Cleric or the pirate. Literally either the best coming hero or the worst coming hero. What are you going to pick? I mean, it's, it's just crazy, dude. We'll take the enchantress instead of the shaman. Hopefully that was the right play. It kind of is since he has some mummy. Alright, my cleric goes first. Look at this amazing start that we have hopefully we can actually take out one of his heroes literally right now he's going to enchant the thunder Paws, i believe uh yes he does well played so if i could take out this mummy as quick as possible it would be pretty fun but sadly i don't know if we're going to be able to do so uh we could do this to get a charge on the on the board and then just push it directly towards the wall not the greatest i was expecting more damage than that it's okay. It's okay. Alright, so it's going to multi-hit the Wraith and the Enchantress. No, just the Wraith. He will be hitting... Ooh, the Cleric and the Thunder Paws as well. Well played. Okay, okay. We'll get the Charge here, then we'll hit the Wraith. And then we'll get the you know the Thunder Paws' ability as well. There we go. Can we get one more hit, please? Thank you. One more Charge, please. Yes, we do. There, let's go. Let's go. We definitely needed that play. We definitely needed that. All right. So we buffed up the, you know, the Wraith. Wraith dealing an excessive amount of damage. He might take out the Thunder Paws here. Yeah, the Thunder Paws is dead. So I need my Cleric to stay alive to have, a, again, a chance to win here. So let's buff up the Cleric here and then we'll hit the Drakeling. All right. So let's see what he does with the Mummy. I think the Cleric will survive 155, yeah. Even even with the double hit and then the ability, he should survive here. He should survive, let's see. Uh, he's going to try to use the Fireball? Is that? No, oh, okay, never mind. He's going for the Cleric. 
one hit, and then he's going to hit the wraith, not the mum, the, not the cleric. Oh, never mind. He hits the cleric once again. Well played. Oh, Kido, not good. Not good at all, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, can we actually hit the the warrior here? Yes, we do. The warrior got taken out. Holy guacamole! I definitely needed that. Um, cleric was was freaking huge right there, but he might actually take out both of these heroes right now as long as he doesn't take out the cleric here let's see he'll probably will because of the wall bounce that he might do yeah he got it so, all right so he does that let's see the enchantress is doing 72 damage the mummy has 140 so we can actually take out the mummy in two hits so let's see if we can you know hit the mummy first and then we might be able to pull off a double hit here let's see Yep, there you go. We got the double hit right there, ladies and gentlemen. Taking out the warrior was clutch. Definitely needed to take out the warrior right there in order to win that match. And we were actually able to, to do it. Such a crazy match right there, ladies and gentlemen. We got, you know, two wins, one loss, and we finally got some rapes for the for the account. Can't complain about that, guys. Off to a pretty good start here. Let's continue on. Alrighty, let's see which heroes I'm going to get. Ooh. A damager or a healer? We'll take the healer. This is, hopefully, it's a good choice here. We'll take the vampire. Probably not the best idea. Okay. We'll take, honestly, we'll take the gargoyle. I should have taken an attacker, the jaguar, because he is an attacker. But then again, I realized that, you know, the vampire is an attacker. So, that's why we did that. Let's push the gargoyle upwards so that way he can start using his, um, his ability on multiple heroes. Hey, 20 damage. Um, just a little bit of damage, but I don't want the, you know, the Paladin to go up there, which is why I did that. Alright, so let's see if we can multi-hit that spell wing here. Oh, we definitely can. We might, we might hit the Werewolf by mistake, but we'll definitely, you know, get some damage up there. Oh, we're gonna hit the Werewolf. It's okay, though. Um, uh, I'm going to deal damage to her anyway, so. There's that. Wraith goes next. Let's see what he does. He is going for... Okay, so he hits all four of them. Okay. Let's see if we can take out that spell wing. Or at least deal a double hit right there. And then hit, hit the wraith. There we go. So we took out the spell wing right there. Did damage to the wraith. We're doing great. We're doing great. Now this is where we can actually heal up the gargoyle. For sure. Let's see. He will be hitting the wraith and the vampire. Okay. We can actually heal up You know both gargoyle and the vampire here. So let's just do that. Let's see if the gargoyle will go up to deal that damage onto the wraith. Yes, he will. Okay, not too bad. Hey, we're getting that little bit of heals. Oh, he's going to multi-hit the wraith. This is not good. We can definitely heal up the wraith at least, but um, not good. Or should we just ignore the wraith, honestly? I don't even know what to do. I guess we'll go for damage here. We might hit the wraith to heal him up. Yeah, we do. Woo! And hitting the Frog Mystic for the third time. I mean, he'll probably take out the Wraith. But we did lots of damage to his Frog Mystic. The whole point of doing that is to try to stop him from healing. But, um... He is still probably going to heal. So, let's, let's just go for the double hit here. We might hit the Wraith twice. Yes, we do hit him twice. There we go. We got a nice little double hit on both the Frog Mystic and the Wraith right there. Um... Alright, so he's going for the Gargoyle. Heal him up, the Frog Mystic. Okay. Uh, at this point, I think it's best to just go for the Frog Mystic here. This will heal up the Vampire as well. If we land near 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 the Wraith, we will heal up. And yes, we do. Okay, we also got healed up for 56. Not bad. Now, I believe it might be best to go after the Werewolf. Because we don't want the Werewolf to be the last man unit, honestly. But, um... At the same time, I would like to, you know, heal up the gargoyle heal here. Actually, we can push the, the the gargoyle towards the werewolf. Look at that! That was so clutch. Such a lucky play right there. Okay, now it's going to multi-hit the, the vampire. Very well played right there. I think it's best to, you know, go for the heal right here and take out that wraith once and for all. Heal up the vampire four times. That was a lucky, lucky play right there. All right. It is a 1v3, but the werewolf is a is a beast. It is definitely a beast as a last man hero. He might go for the double hit here. He does manage to get a nice little double hit. 
Um, let's see if we can push the werewolf towards the vampire just to get the vampire heal up a little bit. Or should we just do this just to be safe? I guess we'll do this and the gargoyle might actually go up to land near the werewolf. And uh, make the gargoyle heal up. Let's see. Oh, I completely missed. I completely missed. That was such a bad play. Alright, so the gargoyle is going to die here. Oh wait a second! I just realized that the guard, uh, the werewolf doesn't doesn't does not have her ability, which is great. We'll heal up both of these guys, make the vampire hit the werewolf right there, and the gargoyle will be able to use his ability. Somehow healed up for twenty eight. I don't get how that happened, but okay. And now we'll get a nice little double hit here. If we can get a triple hit, even better. Heal up the vampire with the paladin. Such a clutch play right there. All right, so that the werewolf has so much health. 66. He did manage to take out the vampire. Such a well play right there. But all we need now is a double hit right here. And we should be able to win right here. And we do manage to get a double hit. And if that wasn't enough, the gargoyle's ability would have taken her out anyways. And we just won that match. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Got a little bit worried right there, but we managed to get a crazy third victory right there. So we got three wins, one loss. Doing okay. Let's continue on. Alrighty, I'm doing, I'm doing happy, I'm happy, I'm doing really well here, we have nothing to enchant, so we're going to take the striker first, the striker is still a pretty good hero, um, honestly, Jawson with the striker can work really well, and we're going to take the Mice Bandits, not a big fan of this deck, or the heroes that we have, I'm just hoping that we can go crazy here, let's see, he also has Mice Bandits, I guess we'll push the Mice Bandit towards his Mice Bandits, and a uh, nice little double hit right there that we did to his Mice Bandits. And we also hit the Spell Wing. That was a really good start. Can't complain. That was a really good start. Let's see what he does with his Mice Bandits. He's going for the Jawsome. Okay, so the Jawsome is actually a really good place if he stays alive. Okay, yeah. He is still alive. So we can actually, you know, deal damage to his, um, to his Spell Wing and the Wraith right there. We'll try to hit the Warrior and the Mice Bandit right there. And there you go, we got a nice little double hit, and we took out the Mice Bandit, let's freaking go. Great, great, great. If the Jossum stays alive there, then we should be able to pull the Warrior, maybe? If he stays alive, we, he probably won't stay alive there. Oh, actually, he's not focusing on the Jossum. Nope, the Jossum is thankfully still alive. Uh, Let's go... What should we go after? Should we go after the Warrior here? I guess we'll, you know, hit the warrior. Oh, we actually pushed the Jossum to deal damage to all three of them. Let's freaking go. Not bad. All right, Jossum and the Mice Spender are susceptible to one-hit wonders from the from the warrior. Like the Wraith might also die here. Yep, we'll play it. This, we might lose, actually. We actually might lose now. Man, we were doing so well, and now we might actually lose here. Jossum has 30 health. So crazy. Uh, let's do this here. The Jossum should land near them. Hopefully. Yes, we do. Alright, so we were actually able to do that. Dealing lots of damage to all of them. That was a pretty good play. But now he might take out my Jossum for sure. Uh, I'm just hoping that the Striker does not take any damage here. Yes, he doesn't. He is healing up this the Spell Wing a little bit. That's okay. Uh, let's just focus on the strike, uh, sorry, on the warrior here, we don't want the warrior alive, there we go, and thankfully the striker is in a very good position that he's not gonna get multi-hit for the wraith, he might get two hits, but not four, thankfully not four, so, and that's okay, he's going to heal up the wraith, okay, he's going for the heal, with a double hit, and of course he got some more freaking, um, some more echoes on the board, which is good for him, can we do this? Plus hit the spell wing. Ooh, we actually played that well. We actually got a nice little double hit on both of them. Took out the spell wing here. But now he's going to heal up the wraith once again. But he needs to be careful because if he gives me a line of sight that I can hit him four times, then I'm going to beat him. Sadly, I wasn't able to get a good line of sight here. So I'm just hoping that I don't give him a line of sight as well. This is not a good... I don't know what to do here, because if I play this horribly, then he can, you know, punish me for it. I guess I can only hit him once. And can I hug the wall? I am hugging the wall. Oh, okay, I'm still hugging the wall. That's good. I'm still hugging the wall. He will go for the heal here. 
And I'm still going to be hoping that he can, you know, gives me a good line of sight right here. No, not a good line of sight. Definitely not enough. I don't know if we're going to be able to... We'll get a double hit. And... I just lost. I did not want the striker to land there, ladies and gentlemen. But, of course, that happened. That is going to be our, what, third loss? I, I cannot keep count. Third loss right there. Was really hoping that I was going to make the striker get out of the way. But, whatever, right? I mean, I really want to go far. But, we're definitely not doing too well anymore. We only have one life left to go. So hoping for, you know, a bunch of more waves, but let's see if we can actually get some more waves. Let's continue on. Alright, hopefully we can get a bunch of more waves. Thunderidle is actually a pretty good hero, for sure. Uh, if we got nothing to enchant the Frost Fox, I guess we'll take the Berserker. Probably not the best hero to use. I'm just using it for, for the health. And we got the Knight for tankiness. Okay, so not bad. Not bad hero selection. He has Seder... And Kong with nothing to help them with their abilities. So he has two heroes that cannot use their abilities. Imagine if I, if I would have had the mummy. That would have made the skeleton not be able to use his abilities. So that would have been a crazy play right here. So the best thing to do is to take out his wraith as quick as possible. But it seems like he does not want to play. Yeah, he definitely did not pick, the, pick out the right heroes here. Unless he is just AFK. He might be just AFK. Can I get a double hit on the Wraith just in case if he comes back? No, we don't double hit the Wraith. We do manage to double hit the Kong, hitting the Skeleton once. I mean, okay, I guess. That's okay. But yeah, it seems like he doesn't want to play. And I don't blame him because he has two heroes with nothing to use their abilities for some reason. So, all good. We'll do this, I guess. Oh, I, I was trying to double hit the Skeleton, but that was a complete miss. It's all good. He has one more turn to play. If he doesn't play here, then we will win by Force Surrender. So, it seems like he really doesn't he doesn't want to play. That's fine. So, we just won because of a free win right here. Let's just do this. And bada beam, bada boom, we are going to win this one. Ladies and gentlemen, free win. Can't complain about a free win, right? Plus, we're going to get a, a bunch of more race right there. Like 10. Yeah, yeah let's go. We got some 10 rays right there. Pretty happy about that. Let's continue on. Alrighty. Hopefully we can, you know, keep facing someone that is pretty easy, you know. We'll take the... We'll take the Druid. Not happy with the Druid. Okay, we got the Druid Farmer combo. That's a pretty nice combo right there. Plus we're going to take the Cannonmaster. Druid Farmer combo. That is a good combo. That is a good combo here. He starts off with a Bomber. Okay. The Bomber just does a lot of damage, but... If we can keep the, you know, the farmer and the druid alive, then we should be pretty good here. Can we just hit the bomber towards the wraith with a nice little double hit, please? Please. There we go. We got a nice little double hit right there. Hitting the bomber. Bomber will take some more damage. And the wraith. Okay. Um, My cannonmaster is going to take a lot of damage. That's okay, though. Oh, he actually might miss the third hit. He does miss the third hit, thankfully. Alright, so now we will hit the Priest and the Canamancer here. Let's do that. Bada beam, bada boom. Let's go. Can we get another hit on the Canamancer, please? Thank you. Can we hit the Wraith once again? Woo! Let's go. Priest and the Bomber are weak. Bomber is still taking damage from the Farmer. That's great. And now this is where the Canamancer can come in clutch. And... Yes, we can. Look at this. We can actually multi-hit the Wraith and the Bomber here. The Bomber will die, which is fantastic. There we go. Nice little double hit on the Wraith as well. Oh, triple hit, please. Let's freaking go. Now the Farmer will be focusing on his Wraith. Let's go. This is where we can actually, you know, take out the Wraith and the Priest at the same time. Let's see. Let's see what he does. No way he's just going to just surrender right there. You know, just quit the game. It seem, yeah, it seems like he will just quit the game. I mean, you had your chance with the dynamite, dude. But you decided not to play surprisingly. Alright. So I guess we'll just hit the wraith here. And the priest, priest Sally, was, I wasn't able to hit the priest towards the farmer. His wraith died. Let's go. 
But yeah, it seems like he will force surrender here. And now the druid and the farmer are just focusing both of, both of his heroes, which is fantastic. I guess we'll hit the farmer here. We might be able to push the... I mean, we'll hit the canister here. We might push the canister towards the wraith. Oh no, we actually hit it towards the druid, which is funny. And yep, there you go. Now both heroes, like I said, are focused on you know receiving damage from both farmer and the druid right there. But regardless, he seems like he will... Yeah, this is another person that will be forced surrendered right here. So, can't complain about that, ladies and gentlemen. Can't complain about that. So, we will win here. Bada beam, bada boom. Bada beam, bada boom. Let's go. Let's freaking go, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty. So, we got, what, five wins? Very happy with that. We got a nice little five wins right there. Um... One more one, we'll get about 15 wraiths. That would be pretty good for the baby account. Let's see if we can get some more uh, heroes. Let's continue on. Alrighty. Let's see which hero's going to pick here. We'll take the, the Jaguar for sure for the damage. Uh, oh, I mean, Zombie is sadly not the greatest enchantment hero. So I'm going to take the Archon. And we're going to take the Puppet Master. I'm just hoping that he doesn't have anything to enchant himself. Okay, thankfully he doesn't. So I don't need to poison. Wraith goes first. First, look at this because she just multi-hit both of these guys right here. Especially the assassin. The assassin will take three hits at least. Yep, three hits. Not four, but it's okay. A uh, bunch of damage right there, but now he's going to hit both of them. Probably three times as well. Let's go. Yeah, he might actually hit the Puppet Master four times here. And yes, he does. And the Archon. Okay, well played, my dude. Okie dokie. I guess we'll do this, push the Archon towards the Assassin, hit the Wraith as well. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all, ladies and gentlemen, not bad at all. He has Assassin and Bomber, which, and Blaze, both of them, or all three of them does insane damage. So we have to be careful here. We really do need to be careful. Let's see, Blaze, his Blaze goes next. We, can't, we could take out his Assassin, but we'll just do this. We'll hit the blaze here. Nice little double hit. And I'm also going to hit the, the bomber here. Oh, nice little triple hit right there on the blaze. All right, so blaze and assassin are weak, which is fantastic. Good for me. He will be taking out the... Oh, no, I think the Archon will stay alive here. Unless he gets pushed towards the bomber, which it seems like he will. Or the Wraith. Yeah, wow, no. The Archon is actually still alive, surprisingly. Um... We'll do this. Hit the blaze, and then we'll hit the bomber. Oh, we missed the bomber. We hit the wraith, though, but we missed the bomber right there. We actually took out the assassin. That's good. We took out the assassin. Uh, or, not the assassin. We took out the blaze. I keep mixing up the names. So I do apologize about that. Now we should focus on... Actually, no. We could take out his bomber, so that way his assassin won't be able to use his ability. We could do that. But then again, we cannot do much here. So I'm just going to do this to hit all three of these guys. We'll hit all three of them. Can't complain about that. Um, oh, sorry that my camera is, you know, moving my camera dramatically right there. Um, let's see. If my, uh, I don't know what he wants to do. He wants to go, he's, he wants to hit all four of them. Okay, that's okay. Now, let's actually do this. And I think we can push the puppet towards this assassin to take him out. There we go. That's good. We double hit the Wraith, plus we took out the Assassin. All right. And that was a good play because we don't want the Assassin alive when the Bomber goes next. So, good timing. Okie dokie. So, he will be hitting the Wraith, and I think the Puppet Master as well. Yeah, we'll play. So, let's see. The Jaguar has 334 health. We'll just do this. If we can hit the Wraith, that would be fantastic. Yes, we do. That was a lucky play right there. We took out both of them in one turn. Let's freaking go, guys. That is, what, six wins? I'm very happy with this run now, guys. We got six wins. Let's freaking go. We got some more raves. Oh, my goodness, guys. Super stoked about that. Let's continue on. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get, you know, continue with the with the win streak here. We'll take the blaze. I'm just hoping that is the right call. We'll take the... Scarecrow, even even though Scarecrow got a bunch of nerfs, he is still pretty strong. Ooh, should we take... Ooh, no, we'll take Blacksmith. 
We do have an attacker. Blacksmith can be considered... Okay, he has Sorceress, which is a good a good thing for me. Because, you know, he can enchant me. I can just re-enchant my units back. And, you know, Scarecrow and Blacksmith together are really good. Because once we give the Scarecrow a defensive buff, he can just shoot the Scarecrow. So, not too bad. He's going to hit for the Wraith and the Scarecrow here. My Scarecrow, you know, starting off first is definitely not the, a good play here. Let's see if we can push the archer towards my blaze here. We'll buff up the the you know the scarecrow right there. We actually did damage to his wraith as well, so that was a pretty good play. But now I think my blaze is going to die because his wraith is buffed. So I think we will lose the blaze here. Yeah, definitely not good. Yeah, this might be a loss now, ladies and gentlemen. He's thinking about it for some reason, but I think it's best to just take out the blaze here. Yeah. It's just best to take out the blaze there. And at this point, I think, actually, we could just um, multi-hit the war the warlord here while hitting the scarecrow. I cannot, uh, I did not even multi-hit the warlord there. Oh, now we do multi-hit the warlord there. Okay, so we took out the archer, make the scarecrow, yeah, make the scarecrow shoot the archer right there. And did a little bit of damage to the warlord. Sorceress gets the buff, okay. Um, I'm okay with this, as long as he doesn't enchant... Oh, wait, so he might push the, sor the Scarecrow towards the Sorceress, and yes, he does. Okay. That's fine. That's okay, because we can actually just, you know, re-enchant the Scarecrow here. Let's try to double-hit the Scarecrow here. There we go. I really wanted the Scarecrow to go through the, the Wraith right there. All right. Still anyone's game, honestly. I still need to buff up the Wraith with the defensive buff. Um, okay. Thankfully, nothing happens there. We might lose... We actually might lose the the Wraith right now. We did damage to the Sorceress and the Warlord there. That was pretty good. But now I think we will lose uh, the Wraith here. Yeah. Yeah, we are going to lose the Wraith there. Alright. Definitely not good. Not good at all. I mean, like I said, we could try to keep going for the, you know, the Scarecrow here to use his damage. Let's see if we can hit the Sorceress here with the Scarecrow. That was good. We took out the Sorceress right there. That was very good. I'm just hoping that the Wraith gets the buff here. The Wraith did get the buff. He might push the Blacksmith towards the Wraith, but other than that, we could we should survive this attack. Yes, barely, but yes, we're still alive. Um, yeah, we'll do this. We might be able to double hit the wraith here. No, we don't. Uh, we we are hugging the wall, kind of. So hopefully, we do survive this. The scarecrow has seventy three health, so a double hit will be enough to take out the scarecrow here. Hopefully, he doesn't do it right here. He does manage to get a double hit. Golly, all right. All right, so the blacksmith has 107, so two hits will take out the blacksmith. So not much I could do here, sadly. Yeah, there's really any, there's really not much I can do here. I'm just hoping that you know we can just hug the wall, and no, we don't. We don't hug the wall. It's all good though, sadly. That is going to be our final loss. I don't remember if we can actually watch an ad to get one more chance. I really don't remember if that happens in epic challenges. But we're just going to wait and see if that is the case. And if not, still very happy with the six wins that we got right here. Let's see. And, oh, the game just froze for a bit. Uh, sadly, no ads to watch. But it's all good, though. Hey, six wins. We got uh, 15 raves. And we're going to get some more epics here. 10 uh, shamans and 13 frog mystics. Can't complain about that, guys. With six wins, a pretty good run overall. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below. And subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. Six wins in the Rage Challenge. If you guys uh, do do uh, can I speak? Do play in the Rage Challenge. Let me know how far you guys go. And if you guys have any uh, recommendations that you want to see, just let me know down in the comments below. And I'll certainly do it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thanks again for your continued support. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Thank you.